Okay, welcome to the Level 8 Division video. In Level 8, we are going to begin introducing long division on the Sotoban. A typical problem will have either a three or four digit dividend divided by a single digit divisor. You can download the attached PDF to follow along. All right, let's take a look at a first example. And in this first example, we have 280 divided by 8. So I'm going to enter 280 on my Sotoban here. And I'm going to choose this as my quotient unit rod. And I'll place my divisor 8 uh, over here to give me some space. But it's not necessary to place the divisor on the Sotoban if you don't wish to. OK, since I have three digits in my dividend, I count 1, 2, 3 on my quotient. So this is my starting rod of my quotient. But if we compare uh, the divisor to the first dividend digit, 2, so 8 is larger than 2, so I can't divide 8 into 2. So I'll move one rod right and divide 8 into 28. And I will move one rod right as well on the quotient, so I will place my first quotient digit on the second rod. And 8 times 3 is 24, so I will subtract 24 from the dividend uh, with a remainder of 40. Okay, so now we'll continue on and uh, divide the 8 into the remaining 40 on the dividend and 8 times 5 is 40 and that will clear the dividend so I have a final answer of 35. So as you can see a uh, long division on the Sotoban once you know your multiplication facts to 9 by 9 uh, is pretty straightforward. Okay let's take a look at a second example. Here we have 2385 I'll use the same quotient unit rod and my divisor of 5. All right. Well, this time, uh, 5 can't go into the first dividend digit 2, so I have to take 5 into 23. All right. Well, um, 5 times 4 is 20, so I'm going to place 4 as my first quotient digit and I will subtract 20 from the Sotoban with a remainder of 385 on the dividend. And then we just uh, continue the process and here we're now going to take 5 into 38. Okay, well we know that 5 times 7 is 35 so I'll subtract 35 uh, with a remainder of 35 um, on the dividend. And so I have two digits of my quotient answer. And then finally, I'll take 5 into the final remaining 35 and place another 7 in my quotient, clear the 35 remaining, and I have a final answer of 477. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at one final example here. And this time we'll do 5,142. And we'll be dividing it by 6. OK. Well, the first thing we need to do is compare the 6 to the 5. So uh, 6 is larger than 5. So we'll take 6 into 51. All right. Well. Um, 6 times 8 is 48, so I'll subtract the 48 from uh, the 51 with a remainder of 342 on the dividend. Okay, well, now we'll, we'll continue and we'll divide this time 6 into 34. Okay, well, 6 times 5 is 30. So I'll subtract the 30, and now I have a remainder of 42 on the dividend. Okay, well, 
to finish up our problem, we will take 6 into 42. Well, 6 times 7 is 42, so I can clear the 42 there, and I see that I have a final answer of 857. So there was a quick introduction to long division uh, on the Sorbonne, and I hope that's uh, all clear, and good luck practicing.